Many times we judge or evaluate people that we know uh, according to our perception of uh, what we interpret as their heart. Uh, so we'll say about someone, oh, he has a good heart. Uh, this person has a good heart. Uh, he has defects like everybody else, but uh, in, deep down he has a good heart. I heard this uh, from mothers uh, that have sons in jail, and they will say, uh, my kid, it's excellent. He has such a good heart. It's the companies that corrupted him. It's, it's the friendships that corrupted him. And if uh, I told you last week about this aspect of getting rid of certain people that can corrupt our ways and that can corrupt our character, Today, I would like to mention this aspect of the heart. Now, I cannot see inside someone's heart or what we perceive as uh, the uh, innermost parts of their being, but I can uh, evaluate by actions or words of that person if uh, they are mean or if they're a good person according to my own interpretation. And we know that interpretation is flawed. We live in a world that judges everybody, divides everybody by the color of the skin, by uh, political beliefs. If you uh, have a certain uh, uh, religious belief, you're judged. And uh, there's a, a set of morals that are uh, changing. Uh, when I was uh, a young man, uh, values were uh, more based in uh, religious values. Today, uh, values are dictated by Hollywood, by politicians, uh, by media companies, and so we are judged accordingly. Uh, just the fact that, uh, and I'll tell people that I'm a Christian, um, I'm labeled as a right-wing extremist. I have an extreme view of the world and, uh, and uh, of life just because of that fact. When a few decades ago, a few years ago, it was the exact opposite. So situations change, but there's something that doesn't change. The goodness of the heart, not in the eyes of us humans, but in the eyes of God. And this according to uh, many religions. doesn't matter if you're a Christian, a Muslim, a Jew, a Hindu. If you have uh, your uh, uh, beliefs, there's a set of moral rules, moral laws that for millennia have been uh, deeply uh, entrenched in our being and there, uh, there's a, 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 um, an effort today to change that. Let me tell you something that I've read uh, in the book, that's the book of Matthew, chapter 5, where uh, we uh, can see, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. These were the words of uh, Jesus, and um, it's a, a universal truth. Uh, in fact, uh, both Christians and Muslim, and to a degree other religions, believe in this concept, that the pure in heart shall see God, or that God will be revealed to them. And, and, and so that's uh, one of the conditions of receiving divine revelation. It's the condition of our heart. So we can have a, either a pure heart or a corrupt heart. And we will allow the heart to be corrupted by the world around us. There is a, a, a principle of entropy uh, that, uh, that uh, are of contagion, that we uh, receive elements from the world around us 
and uh, and we keep them inside of us. And and so the expression the heart doesn't uh, refer necessarily to the organ, the heart, but refers to our innermost being. So purity in heart is a must. How can I purify my heart? First of all, I need to purify the heart, filtering the things that I consume into my heart, filtering what I see, what I listen to, and in order to filter those things, uh, I'm required to have a great amount of discipline because uh, we're bombarded by media, by uh, thoughts, by social media, by uh, uh, radio, TV, songs, all sorts of things in culture that are geared to shape our life, to shape our heart, and we receive a fair amount of impurities from the world around us. Shall I isolate from the world? I don't think so. I cannot live in complete isolation, though some people do this. But I can, yes, isolate my heart from being contaminated by those things that will not allow me to have a relationship with God and to have a revelation, uh, a divine revelation in my life. Today, I'd like to challenge you to filter what you see, to filter opinions, and to try to identify uh, things. There are negative things that pertain to death that are being uh, deeply rooted now in our hearts, in my heart and in your heart. Today, the challenge is to remove those things and to seek better things positive things, things that will allow us to have this purity of heart. You don't know if my heart is pure, and I don't know if your heart is pure, but this is the principle that uh, uh, is given to us, not just by Christianity, but uh, by uh, all the main religions in this world. Purity of heart is necessary to receive divine intervention and divine guidance. That's my challenge for you today. God bless you. If you think that this uh, thought was positive, give it a thumbs uh, up, give it a like, and just subscribe to this channel and this platform. God bless you, and I'll see you here next week.